Welcome back everyone to the Cat's Meowth and another three-part TCBM. I think everyone liked the TCBM last week where we combined three Poketubers into one video, made the one video a little bit longer, a little more interesting to watch, and we didn't have to put out three different videos and make people feel like the channel was being clogged with TCBMs. So for this week's TCBM, we're going to be checking out Pokegal, Rargur, and Big Venusaur NL. We're going to start out... Let's start... I don't know. All of these are huge, amazing trades. Um, let's start off with Rargur because it's a combination of uh, reverses and... Actually, reverses, rares, and hollows, I believe. All from Steam Siege. So we have a huge stack of cards. So let me just grab all these. Um, yeah, we've got a uh, top loader full of ultra rares and check out this stack. Okay, so everything in here are things that I need for Steam Siege. Bastiodon, Volcanion, Gardevoir Spirit Link Reverse, Greedy Die, Armor Fossil Shield on, Captivating Pokeball, Halucha, Braviary, Talonflame, Ambipom, Persian, Evil Tall, Spiritomb, Sneasel, Zuelis, Kling Clang, Hydreigon, uh, one Hydreigon, uh, sorry, this is the Hollow Hydreigon, and then this is the Reverse Hydreigon, Xerneas, back to reverses, Azumarill, Klefki, Meryl, Nidoran Male, Croagunk, Armaldo, Probopass, Primeape, Mankey, Ampharos, Mareep, Avalog, or Avalug, Gastrodon, Clawitzer, Samurott, Shellos, Volcanion, Chimchar, Volcarona, Seedot, Yanmega, Hoppip, and Tangrowth. Oh, sorry, and Tangela. So that knocked out, uh, probably well over half of my once list for the reverses. While I loved opening up a case of Fates Collide, the last set, um, I still wasn't quite able to get the reverses, and doing this, uh, just a single box opening with Steam Siege really reminded me that I have so many fantastic Poketubers out there willing to uh, make large bolt trades like this and help out with sets that buying cases really isn't necessary. They're fun, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love them and wish I could do them for every single set, but I love having uh, some fantastic subscribers to fall back on to complete these sets. So, the Ultra Rares. We have Volcanion EX. Oh, sorry, there's some others mixed in here too. Chandelure Hollow. Full Art Gardevoir EX. Full Art Mega Steelix EX. Pyroar Break. Mega Gardevoir EX. Magirna EX. And Hydragon Break. So I absolutely love trades like this where we get a ton of reverses. Of course, you know, bolt trades are always fun, but so many ultra rares as well. And it usually lightens up my bind my binders from res uh by a significant bit just because uh, you know, of course, obviously there's a lot of cards, so I had to trade a lot of cards. Okay. So that is Rarger. Uh, now I'm going by the email address for that. Uh if you have a Poketubing name that you would prefer to be known by, please let me know and I will edit the title to, uh, to match that. All right, on to number two, Pokegal. Now, Pokegal is another uh, very large tra trade with multiple cards, but these are all ultra rares from Steam Siege. Evil Tall Break. Hydreigon Break. High Roar Break, Mega Guard of War EX, Magirna EX, Steelix EX, Full Art Magirna EX, and another Full Art Guard of War. So I uh, 
wasn't really intentionally tra trading for multiple copies of uh, these full arts, but it does not hurt to have spares. And uh, this was a case where um, I think there were a few ultra rares involved on Rar Gur side, but for the most part, these were um, a lot of bulk older cards, uh, hollows, rares, and reverses from all sorts of set uh, sets. I was literally able, I think, between um, the all three trades shown here to empty out a few hundred cards. So um, well worth it to me. Um, I love lightening up the binders. Um, I do hope to get to at some point to be able to have no spares um, and be able to keep binders down to maybe just one or two, be able to show them all in one video. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like that would make the channel more focused on the cards rather than the trades and sale aspects. So we'll have a few duplicates um, in addition to that Gardevoir um, as well as some of the break cards. There are still a several S Steam Siege cards that I'm looking for, all on my once list, the thecatsmeowth.com. Uh, I will probably be trading these spare ultras only for other ultras that I need from Steam Siege until I get the set complete. Once the set's complete though, everything is uh, up for fair game as long as it's something from my wants list. Okay, so that was the Pokegal. Fantastic Poketuber. We've worked together so many times. Um, I love every single one of our transactions. They always um, lighten up my binder and I always get so many cool things in return. So last but certainly not least, uh, we have a huge number of web series cards from Big Venusaur NL, the only person that seems to be able to find web series cards in his area. So I am super excited to be able to trade for more of these. Um, now this stack of cards right here, I believe the value uh, that when we added them up was over a hundred dollars. So for me, um, this is, oh my god, don't get me wrong, I love collecting new English sets, but this is a really old set and um, it's just really cool to be able to increase my collection, my overall collection value by so much in one trade. And again, um, I actually have the box beside me as a small box, but it's got a stack of like this many cards that I ended up trading for um, this lot. Um, now I'm not sure what this card is called. Obviously it's a Rocket Trainer from the web series. Charmeleon. Dark War Turtle, And then the rest are in this larger top loader and in penny sleeves. Nidoran Mail. Voltorb. I believe this is Bill, or uh, Bill's Teleporter, perhaps? Doug Trio, Executor, Pokedex, uh, Handy Pokedex, perhaps, I think, Arcanine, War Turtle. I love this Venonat. Um, maybe because this Venonat, the one in the far back, uh, he's, it's like he's jumping out of the way, but he still gets knocked in the back of the Pokeball. Um, just adorable. I think this is Max Revive or something like that. And a Kadabra, one of the last Kadabras to be printed. Um, so yeah, super, super excited about all of these beautiful cards. They are all unlimited rather than first edition, but as these are the only web cards, um, in addition to the other ones that I've traded um, from Big Venus or NL, uh, I, I'm, I'm not really gonna get picky with this particular set. Now I do think there's uh, the Dark War Turtle and maybe one other one I do have already in my collection. Um, I believe this is a case where he opened up some booster packs and uh, or got a lot of them and and th these were the uh, extras and the duplicates from what he was looking for. So if um, I do need, still need to sort these all out into their set, but if it does end up that I do have any spares, the duplicates will be available in future trade binder updates. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, they will probably, uh, if I can get to it, they might even be up in tomorrow's ultra rare binder update. That'd be kind of cool if I could feature a web series card. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this massive TCBM. Um, look at all these beautiful cards. I can't wait to start sitting down and sorting them out and getting them into the collection. 
Very excited to add so many cards to the uh, collection overall and to take so many cards off of the wants list. So I hope everyone will stay tuned. Of course, if you're interested in a trade, just check out thecatsmeowth.com. I did update all of my trade binders last Monday, and they should all be in a playlist on uh, the, the channel right here. They leave it's just called Trade and Sale Binder uh, Playlist. So I hope hopefully I have lots of stuff to offer and we can get some more trades going in to complete the beautiful Steam Siege set.